Tom O'Neill, Jeff Wells at the Toronto Film Festival. We just came out of Slam Dog, Millionaire. Could it hit the jackpot at the Oscars? Uh, at least a nomination for Best definitely, Picture. Definitely. Uh, because it pays off better than almost any film I've seen this year, the last third. As I've said before, it is about sitting through that first two thirds that is not fun. It is a bit of a, a slot, but the payoff is magnificent. And then the double payoff at the end, which Todd McCarthy has already talked about in the review. <laughs> this great Bollywood number, this great dance number that everybody it's explodes after. It's a wonderful little throwaway fantasy thing that works beautifully at the end. Yeah. And but the young actor is fantastic. I thought he was really, I mean, the, the mature uh, version of Jamal. We've often seen movies that have foreign language elements, like Babel did, or uh, the same year, two years ago, we saw Letters of Iwo Jima be all in, in uh, Japanese. The foreign language element is larger. That's not a problem. That's not a problem, right? It's, not, it's mainly English. I mean, even when they're kids, right? Yeah. Uh, but I'm talking about some, this is really a foreign film. You really feel as if you are in another land. Sometimes it's a good thing at the Oscars, those movies like Life is Beautiful or... Um, what's another good example? Well, the... the, the Il Bastino. Okay. The, the example is, is Oliver Twist. The example is Charles Dickens. This is a rags to riches story with a great payoff. And it's very, very satisfying in a very classic vision. Older Academy members are going to record, oh, this is Charles Right, right, right. And they're going to obviously respond to it because there's not anything that's terribly new. It's very classic. It's quite moving. It is. As long as you stick through that first two thirds. I'm not saying the first two thirds are problematic. It's just that it's not terribly pleasant to watch all this. It's just it's brutality. It's, it's oppression. It's garbage. It's, it's really horrific circumstances for this poor little kid. But you stay with it as he does, as we do. Keep in mind, one of the key elements about Oscar voting is that it all comes down to number one votes only count when you do your rankings, right? So that means movies that have a rooting factor do extremely well, like Chariots of Fire. And this movie has Absolutely. a passionate rooting factor. When you come down to the final moments of this movie, you could see it going two or three different ways with a payoff. You think it might go this way, it might go that way, but the resolution is, is fantastic. Yeah, that's exactly what you just described. Exactly what that. So I think we found one of our five best picture nominees. Do you do? I agree.